hello friends very good morning i'm back with a new topic here in which we are going to describe vsphere modules like in last module we had discussed about the software defined data center and in this module we are going to explain about the vsphere component and their function in the infrastructure so basically we have two core components if i'll talk about uh, vsphere so one is hypervisor and another is management component so in hypervisor we have esxi host which provide the resources to all virtual infrastructure and in management component we have vmware vcenter which provide the management capability to vsphere infrastructure so other software components and services we have vcenter single sign on vsphere si license service vmware certificate authority vcenter inventory services postgres sql vsphere web client vSphere ESXi dump collector, vSphere syslog collector, vSphere auto deploy, host agent, data stores and virtual switch. So I'll take you to a small description about these services. So basically if we'll see these services, these three services comes under the PSC. Uh, I'll describe it in a later slides when we'll discuss about the vCenter. So there are basically two components of vCenter. One is when we install vCenter, one is PSC and another is vCenter. So we'll describe more in a vCenter module. Here I'm going to describe all these services, whatever we have. So these three services come under the PSC, vCenter single sign-on, vSphere license service and VMware certificate authorities. And these licenses come under the vCenter server, vCenter inventory services, PostgreSQL, web client, ESXi dump collector, vSphere syslog collector, auto deploy and host agents and these are the basic component like which we require to deploy a vSphere environment so what exactly like uh, vCenter single sign on is it provides secure auth authentication service to vSphere components so whenever we log in whenever we authenticate to vSphere environment we require single sign on vSphere license services so vSphere license services, it provide the license inventory and management capability to all vCenter instance. And certificate authority, it provides the uh, signed certificate with VMS, uh, VMCA as a root certificate authority. And vCenter inventory service, it store vCenter configuration and inventory data. PostgreSQL, so it basically a database which like uh, when we install vcenter server it store all the uh, you can say file to this uh, database it's a default database which vcenter 6.5 uses and web client that is basically to access the vSphere environment you can manage multiple esxi host data store network from uh, vSphere client so there are other ki kind of client also like HTML client vSphere client vSphere esxi dump collector so it allow us to configure ESXi to save VM kernel memory to network server rather than to a disk. And syslog collector, so it uh, the vCenter on Windows support a uh, Windows support tool that enable network logging and combining of log from multiple hosts. And it stored the logging of all ESXi at a single place from where you can manage and you can uh, store it for as a retention. Auto deploy. So if I'll talk about the auto deploy, uh, it, it's kind of tool which help us to provision multiple ESXi host uh, with a kind of automation automated system. And host agent is basically used to connect uh, establish connectivity between vCenter and ESXi host. And data store it like when we create virtual machines, so it all stores on data stores. We'll describe more early detail in our next modules. A virtual switch is again a, 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 like we have physical uh, network uh, so uh, that that is used to connect physical servers physical ESXi host now we have virtual machine then to make established uh, networking between virtual environment to physical environment it, virtual switches uh, are being used <coughs> so this is all we have in this module so in next module we will explore about the ESXi installation and I request if you like this video, please share, subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your time.